Monica is an expert on inner transformation, an author, an intuitive guide, and a spiritual teacher. She's been trained in the West and the Far East. She combines entrepreneurial skills with leading an awakened life and being a conscious parent. A mystic without a monastery, she is the founder of the Inner Strength Academy, offering programs on modern spirituality, self-love and self-forgiveness, and self-worth and success. Based in Europe, she works globally www.monica-uaewa.com. She authored the bestseller, One Question That Can Change Your Life, Unleash the Power of Your Self-Worth. Monica's motto is, live with heart in heaven and feet on earth. So Monica, I am going to pass it over to you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for your lovely introduction. And thank you so much for the big honor of being here. Uh, it's really, really an honor to be with all the like-minded people for whom spirituality is so essential. I'm sending you the wishes, best wishes from Austria, the land of the sound of music. And uh, it's so amazing that uh, distance doesn't separate us, it connects us. Wherever we are, we can really tune in. And I'm trying to tune in with everyone watching today because it's modern spirituality that we are talking about and how to implement it in our world. I am, a, among others, a, business mentor and spiritual mentor. And many people say, how does that go together? And my reply is, how could it not? If we want to have a better world, we need to incorporate the values that are spiritual, that are higher values into our everyday life. And for me, spirituality is not being somewhere out there. It's not about uh, astral travels and uh, some, some theoretical ideas. It's about bringing the spirit, the essence, the source here, right here, into your body, into your life, into your everyday activities. It's about making your life vibrant, joyful. It's about... Uh, bringing the highest, being connected with your heart to the highest, and at the same time being fully grounded in life. I, I really believe that if we all uh, felt worthy of being a bridge between heaven and earth, this would be a perfect world. Because we are both, we have both aspects in us. And escaping from our life, escaping into uh, astral travels or some higher uh, levels of uh, vibration and leaving the world behind is not for me real aspect of uh, uh, spirituality. It's something that we uh, are afraid of that we try to escape. Spiritual bypassing is not really uh, the way of honoring the divine that has created us. I know that we need the islands of peace. We need the time to master our minds. We need time to meditate, to uh, really get connected with the highest that we can connect with to really start vibrating on a higher level, to bring more joy and life into our lives in order to bring them uh, into the world. If we talk about the world of unity, it also includes you, every one of you. So you need to start with yourself as I do start with myself, trying to create the inner peace, to bring it to the outside. Well, being a human being, sometimes I manage better, sometimes I have my lower days. Well, I always say I'm real, I'm not trying to pretend what I'm not, but at the same time, I'm putting an effort into 
uh, developing and evolving as a human being. So I know that uh, we are really mystics without monastery nowadays. We really have uh, big challenges. It was very easy to be in monastery in a seclusion and then be connected and be full of grace and kindness. But our life offers us really everyday challenges. And uh, we again and again make something that we call a mistake or a wrong choice. And for that, we criticize ourselves. When we go against ourselves, we cut ourselves off from the highest love, from the highest wisdom. So I have developed a tool which I would like to share with you, a short three minute process of self forgiveness, because when we forgive ourselves, we are able to accept ourselves as we are. When we accept ourselves as we are, we can accept the love that is in us because we can only share it when we really have it and feel it in us. So compassion, we might feel compassion to the whole world, towards everyone but ourselves. So compassion needs to include ourselves so that we can be really of service to others. So self-forgiveness is something very, very essential. And uh, in reality, each type of forgiveness boils down to self-forgiveness because it's us who project some expectations on others. Then we compare whether the others performed the way we wished they would, and then we judge them. And if we don't like what they did, we feel hurt. But was it really them or our expectations of what they should be doing that hurts us? Sometimes the same thing happens with us. We have expectations towards ourselves and then we judge ourselves. Why haven't I acted better? Why haven't I done other things? Why did I meet, did this choice and why didn't I choose anything else? And actually, in every instant, we choose the best we can. Sometimes we can't do better. And being spiritual people, we say, I should behave well. I should have only good thoughts. I should have only good feelings. Being a human being, in the midst of life, you will feel angry at times. You will uh, have a moment of frustration with yourself or others. You will sometimes have doubts. It's very human, it's very normal. But we should not, we don't need to judge ourselves for that in a negative way. So if we ever have an issue that weighs on us heavy, I would like to invite you to try a little process that might help you dealing with this. So I would like to ask you now to close your eyes just for a few short minutes and take a deep breath and breathe out all your worries, all your heavy weight or maybe a light weight, but still weight, something that bothers you, stresses you, frustrates you with a big Ah. Uh, one more breath. Uh, and let an issue surface in your mind that causes you suffering. Someone or your own choice that you despise or contempt or are not happy with. Feel that emotion in you. And say to yourself, as you would to your best friend, I'm sorry that you had to experience that.
you are worthy of receiving compassion also from yourself. And then realize that you hurt because you expected that person to be loving, considerate or supportive. But you experienced the opposite. Or you expected yourself to make a different choice. You hurt most because your expectations towards others or yourself were not fulfilled, were not met. So now open to the possibility of forgiving yourself for having had those expectations in the first place. Had you known better at this time you would have chosen differently. So tell yourself and allow yourself to feel it. I forgive, I forgive myself for having made all those mistakes. Had I known better, I would have chosen differently. So I forgive myself. You are worthy of love and happiness. So allow forgiveness and peace to shower off your suffering. Feel how pain leaves you and feel how your self-acceptance increases. Because now you know that back then you made the best possible choice. Envelope yourself in a warm cloud of self-love and self-acceptance. Allow yourself to become a vessel to bring this love to the world. Allow yourself to become whole and complete. These are such small things that you could do in your life from time to time that would definitely help you to increase your sense of self-worth by opening to your inner self, to your essence, to your authentic you, being the divine spark, being, being imbued in the vibration of the divine. Theoretical uh, spirituality, just knowing about things, how they could be, won't help much. We all know those people who say, well, I know what you are saying. And what I have learned from the beginning is to start applying even small things. I started meditating when I was 13. And I am very grateful for that because I know that each change, outer change starts in here. Because when my world inside changes, the world outside responds differently. I believe that self-forgiveness leads to inner peace and inner peace leads to the outer peace. And peace is very powerful. So once you have created peace within you, you will automatically become the agent of change out there in the world and you will influence the world and really make a difference. So if you would like some more inspiration, there is on my website, a lot of free resources. It's www.monica-eva.com.
ewa.com. I wrote it and uh, I read myself the poem Prayer. I forgive myself 30 days in a row, really letting go a lot of things and really getting into the core of self-forgiveness. And I'm very, very honored to be able to share it with whoever wants to do more in this direction. Thank you.